In problem number 17 of section 4.1, we're given a polynomial that's centered at uh, a equals minus 2, and we're asked to rewrite it so that it's centered at a equals 2. Now, to do this, we'll um, remember that the polynomial centered at, um, or this polynomial centered at a of 2 will have coefficients um, b sub k, which are equal to the, uh, let's see, the kth derivative of the polynomial. Uh, evaluated at the center A over K factorial. So the first thing we'll do is uh, find the first few derivatives of um, Q of X. Notice that we'll actually only need to go up to the third derivative because the highest or Q of is uh, of degree 3. Uh, the highest power of X that we get is 3 when we expand the first term. So we have, uh, well first of all, Q um, evaluated at a equals 2 is equal to uh, 4 cubed uh, minus uh, 6, or excuse me, minus 4, uh, plus 1. So this is equal to uh, 64 minus 4 plus 1, or 61. Now Q of or Q prime of two Q prime of X and we'll evaluate it at two is well, let's just apply the chain rule three times X plus two quantity squared uh, minus uh, just minus one. So if we evaluate this at X equals two, we get three times uh, four squared, so 16 minus one, and that is 47. All right, so the second derivative is, oh, now the derivative of this, um, that would be six times x plus two, if we evaluate this at x plus equals 2, we get 6 times 4. And finally, we compute the third derivative. And you see that we have one term with x in it with coefficient 6, and the other term is constant, so it goes to 0. So this is so Q3, or third derivative of Q evaluated at 2. So now that we have the derivatives, we can figure out what the coefficients are. So we know that Q of X is equal to, uh, well, it's going to be equal to B naught. Well, B naught is equal to the zeroth derivative, or the function itself evaluated at uh, 2. So that's equal to 61. Uh, divided by um, 0 factorial, which is just 1, plus uh, now b sub 1 is the first derivative, so 47, uh, over 1 factorial, which is just 1, so 47 times x minus the center, which is 2. All right. And second, or uh, b sub 2, will be equal to the second derivative evaluated at a, so this is 24, uh, divided by 2 factorial. Uh, 2 factorial is just 2, so 24 divided by 2 is 12. And we multiply that by x minus 2 squared. And finally we have uh, b sub 3 is uh, the third derivative evaluated at 2, so that's 6 over uh, 3 factorial, but uh, 3 factorial is just equal to 6, so this is 1. And we're left with x minus 2 uh, quantity cubed. So this is the same polynomial that we were originally given, only we, up here we were given it um, written as centered around um, x equals minus 2. Here it's centered around uh, positive 2.